Set, go. That was the most Friday the 13th thing ever. Bro, this thing is like an <laughs> How was that? Good. <laughs> I'm that safe. Alright you guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. I'm pretty sure this video is just going to be a mixed bag of what I get into this weekend. We're heading out down to Graham actually, which is about an hour south of me. We're going to pick up a transmission. I bought a Chrysler Crossfire transmission for like 250 bucks from uh, BNR Wrecking. Yeah, I'm going to pick it up today. I'm going to take the C36 down. So I'm just kind of moving things around right now. I'm going to get it cleared out, start it up, and uh, go from there. But yeah, let's get started. First things first, let's get this thing warmed up. I'm going to pull it out so I can get the things out of the trunk. For those that saw, we just did the exhaust on this. And uh, I'll give you guys a cold start. But I also need to get the uh, stock components out of the trunk and into the garage that we removed. Let's see what it sounds like. Not bad. So you can't really tell to be honest, like just driving around, you can tell a little bit, but it's when you rev it out that you really hear it kind of come to life, which is cool. It's what I wanted. Sounds like a upgraded factory like style sound. Doesn't sound crazy, but it's nice. Alright, so I gotta clear all this stuff out. That's all the exhaust, the catalytic converters, resonator, and stuff that we deleted. Get this stuff in the garage, make room for a transmission to be able to sit in here. If it doesn't fit in the back, which I think it will, but if it doesn't, I'm gonna grab a bunch of moving blankets and I got a big foam pad that I'll put on the back seat if we need to do that. But let's get this stuff out of here. guys last thing I'll grab before I go is my tools just why not good to have on hand on a long road trip there we go all right Ready for adventure. All right guys, my buddy Darius is gonna join us actually. So uh, we're gonna go meet him at South Center for those of you guys familiar with the area. He was gonna come here, but his phone died and his alarm didn't go off. So no big deal. We'll just go pick him up. It's 7.30 right now. We were planning to leave around like 6.45, 7, but most of that was on me. I was just here, you know, taking a shower, taking my time and then uh, for the last like 20 minutes, I've been figuring out what did I forget? What do I need? What do I forget? What do I need? So um, last thing I was about to leave without was a phone charger and definitely want that for a long road trip. So I don't get lost trying to figure out where the heck I'm going. Um, you know, it's not the old days with written out directions anymore or a map. So anyways, we're on our way guys. I'll catch you soon. And this will be the C36's longest road trip down south since it came from down south a lot farther though that time anyone who knows me by the way all I listen to is classical in this car and in any car really especially morning and afternoon like drives home from work etc like catch me with classical on pretty much all the time I don't know it's just my vibe nowadays I love all music I listen to all kinds of stuff but when I'm driving it's just relaxing it's peaceful tranquil especially on an early morning, so fun fact. All right guys, I don't wanna jinx it right now, but the freeway just confuses me. It's 7.45 right now. Every time I drive on this freeway at any time of the day, <laughs> it's always jam-packed. And at the time where people are going to work, no traffic. I really don't get it. Alright guys, it's 
pulling up to South Center. 85 degree bakery. I didn't know they had that over here. Now I love that place. Anyways, Buddy is just an exit of where so, so we're gonna wait for him. Sick G-Wagon over there. It's like an older gen. Nice. Dude. <laughs> Alright guys, Buddy Darius is here. This is one of my childhood best friends. He's joining along for the adventure. Let's get it, baby. I'm late to the party, but yeah, I'm he's here. Late to the party. That's all right, though. It ended up working out. I was late anyways myself, so. Uh, what do you think of the C36? Love it, man. It's cool, it's huh? so clean for like a 95. It's a vi vintage vibe in here today. Yeah, it looks like new. Yeah. That's sick. All right, well, he'll probably be cameraman as we're going yeah. a few times, but we'll keep you guys up to, up to date and... Uh, See you when we get to Graham. Peace. Alright guys, Darius needs to make a call by the way, so we're gonna let him use the bat phone. Bat phone. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were just talking about there's a there's a pager thing in here and then that thing he was laughing. We had some good times with that on the way home from California finding that in there. Batman. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? I love you! I know. Where is she? I don't know, Mike and I, we were like halfway home and then I opened it up and I was like, what the fuck? This is fucking tight. Alright guys, we're almost there. We got a chance to get an open road right here, so... We'll let Darius feel the in insane speed of the C36. Just kidding. <laughs> Set, go! It's like, it's not like scary fast, but it just feels quick. Bro, that was quick as f It moves, yeah. But then when we take them in the CLK, guys, then yeah. you're gonna, dude, <laughs> that is scary. It's scary. It's another level. We've made it though. Um, hopefully, we're figuring out where we're going right here. Yeah, it's right, right here. Right there so, BNR Auto Wrecking. Yeah, we're in the right yeah. spot. We made it. I was just telling Darius where we just pulled out of was Gundy's. That's where I picked up the transmission for the E420. I don't even know they were neighbors. So I, in my head, I was going there the whole time thinking it was BNR, but they ended up being right next to each other. So, yeah. We made it. Catch you guys in a few. Oh, that's a gate. Oh, yeah. 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 Up there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'll back up. I put it in the trunk. I've done this before. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a very bad feeling about uh, this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch that face in Yeah. <laughs> transmission slipped off the pallet when they were moving it so got to go inside you either find a new transmission or they got to rehouse it oh my god Friday the 13th never <laughs> fails baby so if you got I don't know what you guys caught right there but they dropped the transmission and broke it not like a small break they like cracked the whole side of the like a quarter of the bell housing was destroyed so I don't know what we're doing now. They're gonna try to find another one or they're gonna send that one out for repair apparently, which I don't really trust at all. <laughs> they say they have a guy that does racing transmission, all this stuff that does aluminum repair, but if that thing cracked, like, most likely cracked very far through, so. There was like a piece this big yeah, it, that fell off the transmission. Yeah, so, 
I'm gonna go on the hunt for some other ones. Hopefully they'll find another one and then I'm gonna make them pay for the difference if they can't find it for the same price. Uh, and otherwise I'll just get a refund and either use the one I have that I was trying not to or wait till I find another one, but Jesus Christ. I'm glad I'm with dryers right now because I'm still happy. If I was by myself, I'd be sad right now. I'm still enjoying myself because I have my friend with me and it's a nice day, but yeah, that was the most Friday the 13th thing ever. Jesus. Drove like an hour plus, <laughs> show up, it's on the pallet, and then poo, gone. All right guys, um, I went back in there and talked to the lady just to tell him because they weren't even aware there was a Mercedes transmission. Obviously most people won't know for the Chrysler Crossfire. So I just told them all the interchangeable makes and models, uh, all the SLKs, C-classes, etc. So they could kind of do a search a little more widespread. They had one there actually out of an SLK 320, but it was like 180,000 miles and the car looked like it got annihilated. Uh, transmission probably still fine, but didn't feel like it and the lot number was like 666 so I think on a Friday the 13th even though I don't really think of negative and numbers like that I just think of it as numbers but you know I did think about it a little bit so uh, they have another one in Medford Oregon out of a 2008 C300 which will work I think that's a 716.669 uh, probably so I'll wait to hear back about that the guy that always helps me chip it's not working today, so I gotta wait to hear back from him. He's the one that I always call for all this type of stuff. So I'm sure he'll be able to pull some strings, fingers crossed. But as far as today goes, I'm not getting anything, so <laughs> except for a good time and a drive. So catch you guys on the road and back at home. Well, we're back. That was a fun road trip. Thanks for coming fun. with me. Of course. <laughs> no transmission, though. Yeah, empty-handed, but a memory in the books, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Well, we'll see what else we do with this video before we close it out. We're, I'm going to try to take Darius on a ride in the CLK, so we'll include that in this video. Go we'll get some bats. Yeah. Bat. We're going to get some food, and then we'll do that. So we'll check back mm -hmm. with you guys in a while. Sheesh. All right, guys. We're in the CLK. All three of us. This is May's first ride in the car and Darius is first ride in the car. Obviously, I'm not gonna go as ham as I would if it was just Darius and I, but <laughs> we can feel the speed a little bit at least. We gotta go get some gas right now. Uh, check engine light did go off on its own, interestingly, so. I was in the car to witness. Yeah, we'll see what that ends up translating to. But, yeah, still the uh, three start is the charm. Yep. Oh my God, that was close. <laughs> And I almost just took the side off of the car. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right in the thing. Yo, you gotta be baby, I'm being, ain't I'm being extra careful today, dude. I'm being extra careful. Hey. Hey. Hey, neighbor. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Good. What's going on? I, at least, I, at least it's you. Yeah. <laughs> Taking my buddy and Maze for a first ride in this car today. Yeah, he's back here, yeah. We, we are doing a David Button. Hi, how you doing? We're doing a David Button. Are you? Yeah. Have fun, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Take care of you. We'll see you, yeah. Bro, this thing moves. Yeah. I can already tell. Alright, guys. I'm not trying to scare my child, so. Well, how was that, buddy? Too much wind noise? How do you say? Nope. Alright, well that was about a quarter throttle with uh, a little bit of break up at the beginning, so yeah, this, thing, this, thing, this thing boogies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've been in a car that can move like this. Yeah, this is definitely the first time I've ever driven a car like this. Were you freaking out when you first drove yeah, it? Yeah, because like the first couple of times I took it out, I'm just like driving it normally, trying to like figure yeah. it out. And then when I finally like put my foot down, I was like, what the heck, dude? That is not normal. Kind of crazy fast, huh? No, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> you don't like to go that fast? No. Why? Because, because what? We, need, we have a tent that we set it up upstairs in. A tent? What are you talking about? <laughs> what does that have to do with going fast? You don't like to go fast? Nope. Why? Okay. At least you know what you don't like. I like that. Most people don't know what they don't like. Most people don't know what they do like. But you know what you do and you don't like. Remember that when you get older. I like it okay. when it is a little fast. A little fast? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I heard you might want to be a pilot. You like to fly? You just wanted to be a pilot? And yeah, of course you can't right now, but eventually you can. You just gotta practice. We went to art shows plane. Yeah. But I didn't drive it. Didn't you get to go on a plane when you came to my wedding? Remember when we flew to Jackson Hole? We went to a art shows plane. Yeah, Boy. when you came to my wedding, right? Yeah, we went on the auto plane and we went to. Darius's wedding? And I saw it. I'm talking about when we went. Remember that place that had all the mountains? And the horses? And the buffalo? There's no buffalo. <laughs> there was. Buffalo, yeah. baby. The GoPro, as you guys know, is the most unreliable machine I have. Uh, but. What is it? Oh, the broccoli? I'm done with it. Maze is done with his broccoli. <laughs> if you guys know any kids that do this, let me know, but he's the only one I know. Uh, but yeah, what'd you think of the, the launching? Fastest car I've been in to this day. Yeah. Unreal. That was my first time actually stabbing it from first gear. Then give it to me. I got you. So yeah, that was... Uh, my first time getting to stab the throttle like that in first gear. I'm very sorry the GoPro wasn't recording, I don't think. I need to um, tell but them. I can tell you it was fun. So I tell them. I was in it the big bunch of broccoli when Dad was watching it. <laughs> and I said, Dad, don't do that. Yeah, we said, we said, probably shouldn't do that when you're eating broccoli, right? So. Anyways, we're gonna eat, we're gonna Dave and Buster's after this, have a little boy's day, and then uh, take Darius home and close out the video. How's the bacon cheese? Bacon cheese from yeah. uh, Metmark, yep. delicious. Bacon cheese, 5.99, I can't beat it. I'm digging in mine. Guys, I don't know how this thing works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyways, we got done with Dave and Buster's, heading over to Seattle, take Darius home. You do anything fun, I guess I'll show you, but that was a fun day. Thanks, dude. Great day. Love you, man. Love you, too. Maze, you have fun? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, we're sitting in traffic right now, but we'll be car scoping, and uh, maybe if we get some clear road, we'll include you guys. But. Oh, say less! <laughs> Guy, that was man. like a real scream. Are you alright, dude? <laughs> <laughs> was, that was that too loud? No. <laughs> you were just having fun? I'm gonna try this. <laughs> that was hilarious, dude. Thanks for making us laugh. Yeah. Hope you guys like that. <laughs> Tunnel speed, baby. that I uh, launch it one more time, so. <laughs> How was that? Good. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you guys
guys know, my child likes it, he just screams, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he requested that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, just dropped Darius off. Love you, brother. Thanks for coming with us today. Maze is going to get to see the Space Needle in a second, so I want to show him. Beautiful day out right now. We're over by the water on Alki. So, everything considered, guys. Even though we lost out on that transmission, which was just a weird, unfortunate circumstance, we had a good day. So, thanks for joining us. We'll figure something out soon. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Enjoy your weekends, enjoy your weeks, whatever time, whatever day it is right now, enjoy. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.